So have you ever been flying an aircraft and you somehow got your shoelaces all wrapped up around the rudder pedals? Well, we're gonna talk about that coming up next. As you can see, I can do an S turn, turn to the right. So what's up guys, Paul Salmon here. So I was flying back from Florida or Alabama, I don't remember which one, and back to Missouri one day. And you know, it's quite a long flight, several hours long. And so when you're sitting in the aircraft, your legs start to get kind of tired, you know, it's your feet up on the pedals, you know, so you decide to stretch your legs out and try to get a little stretch going legs and relax there get so they don't get quite so tired well in the magni you can put them up on top of the pedals you can stretch your legs out and put them on top of the pedals or you can stretch your legs out and put them underneath the pedals just slide them underneath the pedals there just stretch your legs out right i highly recommend that you put them on top of the pedals and don't go under the pedals because i did that one time and i ended up getting the loops of my uh, shoelaces around the end of the rudder pedal, which made for a little bit of a difficult uh, ability to manipulate the rudder pedals. You go out in that hanger here and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. So here we are looking at the Magni Gyro. Here's the panel. But if you look down here where you put your feet, and this is on the left side, you can see that this rudder pedal, it would be easy to loop something around the end of that rudder pedal right there and get it hung on there, all right? So when you do that, that makes for a very interesting flight. <laughs> okay. If you look over on the other side, it's pretty much the same thing over here on the right side. It'd be very easy to, to get your shoelace hooked around the end of that rudder pedal. So have you noticed that when you buy a pair of shoes, when the shoelaces come in, they're like six feet too long. So check out, there's a shoe here. And the shoelaces were so long, you end up having like double tie, triple tie, quadruple tie, whatever. And that ends up with having some loops on your shoes like this, all right? And being that I'm too lazy to just go buy the appropriate pair of shoelaces that are about four feet uh, shorter, I end up with these things looped up and sitting out there like this. Okay, so again, if you get your uh, shoelaces wrapped around the end of that rudder pedal and you can't get your foot back in there, you got a bit of a problem now. So, you know, you need to have a ability to manipulate the rudders to come in for a crosswind landing. And as luck would have it, of course, when I got back to Cape Pair, it was about a 25 knot crosswind. So definitely needed to be able to get to the pedals. But what I had to do was I quickly figured out that I couldn't get the things unhooked. And I, number one, when you're sitting in the gyro, you can't even see your feet down there because the panel comes down so low. And I tried and tried and tried. I could not get the shoelaces loose. So what I had to do was hook my feet back behind the backside of the pedals and pull back to hold constant pressure against the pedals and then conceptualize in my mind that when I wanted to go left pedal I would bring my left foot forward and or right pedal bring my right foot forward and so you know you think you get used to that pretty quick that actually took several minutes to get used to so I was flying along practicing that so when I got back up here I could make the landing without killing myself <laughs> running off the runway so I managed to get back and uh, get the thing on the ground without uh, any particular crash involved. <laughs> and uh, you know, once I got up to the hangar, I don't remember who was here, I had somebody come bring me like a yardstick so I could get my uh, tennis shoe laces loose from the rudder pedal <laughs> and get out of the aircraft, you know. Now potentially the same thing could happen with the helicopter, although the helicopter is wide open. You can see your feet real well and if you did get your uh, shoelaces looped around the rudder pedal, I suspect it'd be a little bit easier to get them loose uh, although, having said that, I think I'm probably just going to go with Velcro <laughs> for tennis shoes now. Either that or the appropriate length uh, shoelaces, so this is not going to happen again. So, anyway. Okay, well, I hope you liked the video. It's kind of a short one, but it's a good message to get out there. Be real careful if you stick your feet up under there and you got loop shoelaces. Don't get them stuck on the rudder pedals there. So, so if you haven't already, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next video.